This is a California rail yard, and these are schools, hospitals, and care facilities. These are neighborhoods. Here's another California rail yard, and schools, hospitals, care facilities, neighborhoods. Rail is a critical engine of economic activity and employment for the entire state. The majority of locomotives run on diesel fuel, and diesel particulate matter in the exhaust from these locomotives is classified as a toxic air contaminant. We know of no safe level of exposure for this substance. Within a rail yard, these giant diesel engines move back and forth all day long, creating emissions that move out into the surrounding areas. California is home to 18 major rail yards, and to many medium and small rail yards, and to thousands of rail spurs and sidings where locomotive activity occurs near communities. Here are the sites where rail operators are proposing to add new facilities or to expand existing facilities to increase throughput. In California, freight rail is projected to increase by 50% within the next seven years. These yards are an important component of California's freight movement system, a system that is currently expanding while its emission technology remains stagnant. Rail is often characterized as the most environmentally friendly way to move freight. This portrayal focuses on greenhouse gases and disregards community health impacts because fuel efficiencies that reduce greenhouse gas still do little to address the harmful diesel emissions that directly impact human health. The average freight line haul locomotive is now dirtier than the average freight truck in California, and even the GHG advantage is shrinking and will eventually disappear. So what should we do? Should we move everyone? We can't move every school and every hospital, and many of California's most disadvantaged communities are located near rail activity. Not everyone has the luxury to move away from pollution. The ultimate answer is that we must eliminate emissions from locomotives operating in the state. To accomplish this, we need a plan, one that includes requiring use of the cleanest commercially available locomotives, elimination of unnecessary idling, and a transition to the use of zero emission fuel when operating in the state. This plan isn't easy, but it is achievable, and it doesn't require vast research into new technology, but rather the application of technologies available today.